नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर चैत्रा गौड़ा कंसलटेंट ऑब्सट्रीशियन गायनकॉलजिस्ट एट क्लाउड नाइन हॉस्पिटल बेलंदूर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट पेनफुल पीरियड्स दैट इज डिसमेनोरिया मोस्ट ऑफ द विमेन एक्सपीरियंस सम अमाउंट ऑफ पेन ड्यूरिंग मेन्स्ट्रुएशन बट सम विमेन एक्सपीरियंस सिवियर काइंड ऑफ पेन ड्यूरिंग एवरी मेन्स्ट्रुअल साइकिल so there are two types in these kinds of pain one is called as primary dysmenorrhea another one is called as secondary dysmenorrhea primary dysmenorrhea starts when a girl or a woman attain a menarche itself so it usually starts with menstruation and ends usually with the first two or three days the pain will reduce by itself this pain is basically because of the prostaglandins which is secreted from the uterine lining during menstruation so this is and pathological where there is no cause for the pains this is called as primary dysmenorrhea there is another form called as secondary dysmenorrhea this can come any time of the age like when the woman is 20 years or 30 years or 40 years it can start at any age and this basically is due to some other secondary cause secondary cause means any endometriosis fibroid uterus adenomyosis or polyps if there are any pathological development in the uterus women might develop this kind of secondary dysmenorrhea that is painful periods so when women has to meet a gynecologist in case of primary dysmenorrhea if the pain is too severe that it is inhibiting their day to day activities they are not able to go for school or exercise or office then they have to meet a gynecologist or in cases of secondary dysmenorrhea where day to day activities are impaired definitely they have to come for evaluation once you meet a gynecologist we will evaluate the cause we will see whether you fall under the primary dysmenorrhea or the secondary dysmenorrhea we will do a set of blood investigations check for hemoglobin count and other causes and do a pelvic examination and do an ultrasound examination to see if there are any secondary cause like fibroids polyps or endometriosis and then start treating accordingly so the first line of management for dysmenorrhea that is painful periods always is painkillers that is nsaids it inhibits the prostaglandins which is secreted from the uterine lining basically this nsaids will reduce the pain and most women will be comfortable with nsaid treatment itself and if the women is not responding to the first line medication that is nsaids we will be going in for hormonal medications only in cases of severe dysmenorrhea so hormonal balance comes back and then the pain comes down and there are other non medical forms of treatment also for primary dysmenorrhea see if you are exercising daily usually the pain threshold increases and the chemicals which causes pain will reduce so daily exercise yoga meditation exercise for at least 1 hour daily will definitely reduce the dysmenorrhea and in yogasanas there are particular form of yogasanas which will reduce dysmenorrhea and also pelvic pathologies also over a long period of time this medications and yoga exercise and food intake and all uh, lifestyle modifications works well for primary dysmenorrhea but it doesn't work for secondary dysmenorrhea where we have a cause so if there is any fibroid uterus or endometriosis or polyps we need to see evaluate and treat it accordingly either with medications or if the fibroid size is big or endometriotic cyst size is big we'll have to remove it surgically to cure you